What's going on YouTube and Sinjin Nation? Welcome to episode 11 of Budget Build-Off. I am, of course, Sinjin Omega. And as always, the esteemed co-host that y'all should know by now, Samuel, a.k.a. Oh, Lemus. Yeah. Now, today was Sam's week, uh, and we did the Wheel of Structure Decks, and we spun it to decide what structure deck we would be building off of. And uh, I spun Zombie Horde, Sam spun uh, Realm of the Sea Emperor. And the way this budget structure went out this week was uh, the way we did and everything, because this he kind of took the idea of what I did just for his week, so he wants me to explain it. So $30 of that budget was three structure decks, because you can just take $30 by three structure decks. There you go. So the rest of our 70s is what went towards our budget. For this week and it's traditional format because some structure decks do have traditional formatted cards like the older structure decks and such uh we didn't include star deck for this and so yeah that's about it <laughs> is that is that good enough yeah that's fine all right so uh let's get to this uh going shall we i wonder what you're playing i don't know i think i might, might be playing zombies <laughs> Oh, me. My cats are being hyperactive right now. All right, am I going first or are you going first? I am. Sam, I'm sorry. Activate Zombie World. Activate Premature Burial. Well, it turns off like half my deck. It's fine. <laughs> I'll send a copy of Glow Up Bloom. Activate its effect. I'm going to search Bolodrox. Ooh, and okay, special just, summon it. Because zombie world's on the field. Mm hmm We'll set a card. And I'm going to summon a copy of Shirinui Solitaire. Activate his effect. See, I could have basically done this off of uh, Solitaire also. Because then I can get Unizombie. I'm going to activate this by sending a copy of... Hmm. Let's send a copy of Mizuki to the graveyard. I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably going to be like one of our most quote unquote competitive duels that we've had so far. I'm going to bring back my copy of Solitaire. And I'm going to go into a copy of... Oh, I think I know what's locking me out of not synchro summoning what I want to. This, isn't it? Yep, that's fine. I was going to go into a copy of Vampire Suckers then. Your turn. Boy. It's not well, terrible. first of all, I'm going to go ahead and activate this copy of uh, Ed Elixir Scarlight. I have to like read this card because I don't remember what it does. I, I, have, like, I basically can summon my Eldritch from the deck. Oh, okay. I'm going to chain a copy of Twin <clears throat> Tester. How dare you? Well, I'll still bring out Golden Boy. That's fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay isn't the the greatest hand ever okay normal summon okay you Seven definitely hands. don't have a good hand then if you're normal summoning him yeah no my hand's pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> uh <clears throat> you should have been like hey uh sinjin let me uh play against your uh atlantean mermel deck real quick so i can uh learn how to uh use it Alright, <laughs> right, yeah, cause Wait. you can uh pop a face up monster, that's right. Yeah. The one marksman pops face down. Yeah. Card. Okay. <sighs> so who are you popping then? It's between uh Bellodrock and Golden. 
<laughs> uh, question is do you have another way i mean you, um, you have multiple ways to get the zombie world but do you have one in your hand i mean it's for you to just think about uh, boy uh, <laughs> i'm gonna pop this <clears throat> no no not my ball of drugs Monster Reborn. Oh my god. Did you wait did you top deck that or was that it? I top decked it. Okay. Hmm. I don't wanna eh, I'll just bring up ball drugs. I mean you might as well. Oh I get to actually do both of their effects, because you know, a zombie might see my vampire sucker's like, oh, you special summon a zombie? From the graveyard? Oh, uh I get to activate my effect. Oh, a zombie effect activates, I get to banish a card. Um, let's see here. I really don't like you having that on the field. It doesn't seem bad. It's 800 attack. But I don't like you having it on the field, though. <clears throat> That's going to be a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I need, like, a super good top deck. That's a lot of damage, my friend. See, this also... is not a super good top deck. Oh, you just surrendered on me? How dare you? Yeah. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I had another elixir face down. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I need to go into my side deck. Boy. Uh... You know, Sam, I always make the joke about being the quote-unquote fastest uh, duel. Uh-huh. <laughs> this might be one of the fastest that we've had. Yeah. I if, figured... I could have, if I get another hand like that, it's like... <laughs> Basically, what you're saying is you hope you don't break. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> what you're saying. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. You're really thinking about that side deck, aren't you? Yeah. This is dumb, but I'm just going to do this. We got a couple of Ragekis, a Feather Duster. Sand's not terrible. <laughs> I'm going to activate Unizombie's effect, targeting himself. I want to send my Necro World Fancy to the Banshee to the graveyard, activate her effect. Do you know what she does? She activates Zombie World. She activates Zombie World. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. well, I'll go ahead and set that also, and I'll go ahead and activate this as well. Just so you can't, uh, you know, hate on my hand. Ooh, okay. Um, activate my elixir right quick. <laughs> I turn. Yeah, I'm gonna get my golden boy though. I'm gonna get golden Goldilocks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just what I <laughs> gonna do this. That's fine. <clears throat> this is so bad. I this know. is so bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially if you're having to discard that. Well. Uh, okay. Hey, Sam. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take the guess what this face down is? Is it, a, is it an Eldritch card? No, it's not an Eldritch well, it's not an Eldritch card, the one I'm hovering over. Uh huh. Let's just say it's something you don't want to see. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> see, see, you're sitting here saying Zombie World shut you down. Robbery just shuts that's you down a, even more. That's a problem. Because <laughs> you know your oh. your Neptus here is a zombie, you know. So you know. 
Oh, oh, you went with the deep sea Ar Aria stuff. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I'll give you that one. I mean, you know, it's a shame you can't summon a deep sea diva right now. I know. Because <laughs> you, you don't have zombies on the field. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, oh, that rivalry was just, just in time. It's so bad. Uh, oh, here's my, uh, my one of pot of this. <laughs> You're actually running pot of this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I mean, to be fair, can't I mean, do anything. You, you didn't get a twin twisters off that. No, no, I did not. I feel, I feel real bad now. I feel real bad. I mean. I, I had to make a comeback from last the last three weeks, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it since you're about to pop it. Bring back my Mizuki. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I don't have lethal on field. It doesn't matter. I can't do anything. <laughs> That's rivalry, funny. rivalry, bleh, rivalry plus zombie. We're all just locks me out of like. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what I have in my extra deck. I'm gonna do this. Crap! I thought I did the other one. My cats are being really, really annoying right now. <laughs> I can send this to the graveyard. Activate its effect. I can bring out, uh... Balder Drox. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> I banished one of my copies of Twin Twister. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god, my cats are being really, really... Annoying right now. Like they just knocked over like everything that was like under my little stand that I have my card stuff on. Hmm. What do I want to do here now? Since I was so rudely distracted. I mean I don't have lethal on lethal on field. It doesn't matter, I can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, sure you can. I, I can just go into Vampire Sucker. I'm going to Vampire Sucker. And, uh... Go ahead and activate this copy of Mizuki. Bring back Unizombie. I'll get Baldrox effect. Banish a monster on the field. Banish his face down. I'll bring back my Unizombie. Oh, Vampire Sucker says, oh, something was uh, done. I get a draw. Oh, look at that. I can normal summon this solitaire. You activate it. I don't know. I won't activate its effect. I'm just going to special summon a copy of... Uh... Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. I think lethal. I think that is lethal. Hopefully it is. <laughs> Put me like... out of my misery. Oh, well, so I get his effect. He's in effect, okay. Uh, oh, I can cool. special you summon just... from my grave from the graveyard. Oh. Any zombie. Oh, oh. Fair and balanced. Yeah, so I can bring back your uh marksman and uh No, it's definitely legal. <laughs> I mean it was before, but... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so that uh marksman kills you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unnecessary. No, it was lethal without marksman, anyways. Oh, <laughs> wow! How long has this been? Uh, it was like fourteen. So, uh, okay. uh, let's go over the decks. I'll go over mine first, I guess, because I have risen from the ashes. Guess I am awesome like that. Uh, you'll you'll have to judge whether or not my my list is good. I will be the judge of it. It's probably not, but. <laughs> So here's mine. Like I said, I kind of, uh, the way I did mine, it's like the structure deck stuff is first. So obviously the structure deck was the main focus of it. So up to zombie world, 
is anything, everything in the structure deck. I was actually running the one copy of uh, in the main deck Zombie Necronize because if you actually had uh, Atlant uh, Mermil, the one that can attack twice, or any of the higher ones, I can actually take control of it with this. Mm. So that's the main reason why it was kind of in there too. Uh, the two Eldritch and uh, the the one copy of Gila was more or less, you know, facilitating bringing back zombies and stuff. Because uh, an idea that I actually had with it, I can use a Jack of Balone with it, bring back your monsters out of the graveyard, use Hela to bring out one of mine, because then yours would get banished because of uh, Jacko. Mm -hmm. the, two, the two vampires for uh, battling and stuff. One reborn. Well, let me do traditional. So that way it's... But yeah, the one reborn. The three super polys. <laughs> because, why not? And the elixirs, I didn't really need to run them, but I wanted to. So it, mm -hmm. this could have easily been a 40-card deck. And then the robbery. See that anti-spell on your side deck? Oh, that? I mean, yeah. it came in the structure deck, so... Yeah. Like, basically, from here over, all of that came in the structure deck. I just had the Rick Icky and Harpies there. Mm. An idea that I did have was this, because I knew if I needed to, if you, had, if you yourself was doing a lot of special summoning from the graveyard, mm -hmm. I could just throw these in there and pop two cards, in, like, instantly. Because if I had Zombie World on the field, I would be popping every turn. Obviously, the Necro Dragon was the only quote-unquote extra deck card that I had. So I was running one of the the Eldritch Fusion. This is out, up, actually, upon recording this. Just EO Pro's not been updated yet. Uh, Dillman. Because I know what Mermel Atlanteans can go to. You can get, like, a Miss Starboy, the Mermel XCs, and you can actually synchro up pretty well, so... This was here just for that reason, in case you threw all that out on the field. I can just go into him if you ended up going doing that. Uh, obviously, Necro, ne uh, Nether Soul super Dragon, poly. another Super Poly target, and yeah. Mud Dragon, <laughs> Super Poly target if I didn't have uh, Zombie Roll on the field. The Draco Berserk, Ooh. just for beatdown. The same with uh, the Shogun, the uh, Side Frame Lord Omega. I, that's actually what I was wanting to go into first, but I couldn't because of Glow of Bloom. Uh, Unchained, Abomination. Just to control the board more. Because you definitely needed that. <laughs> uh, the, the Absolute Zero Mayagashi just negates anything that gets banished, basically. Didn't really need to worry about it anyways, because Mermel, Lanty and Mermels don't banish. Uh, yeah. This was protect my synchro. That's it. Because it's... I'll show you a virtue that I thought about doing here in a second. But then the vampire sucker was just there. I was running a copy of the Revenge Red, but I was like, nah. And Link Karibo was there just to get a Bacola Boom in the graveyard. Quickly, that's it. Uh, Kesha, it bounces every zombie back. So if I need to, I can just throw this on the field and throw all your stuff back to your. Uh, deck the two necros i told you about that one already uh this was a way to banish something that was problematic on yours and i could just bring something back out if i needed to obviously anti-spell fragrance self-explanatory but that's basically what my idea was is that if i needed to do more control if you were bringing more beat down on me i would i would be news i could just side these in if i need to here was the other idea that I had. Sure new engine. <laughs> Basically. Just sure new engine. Pretty much. Because you know the solid hair is already in it, so I would have these. Yeah. The swallowtails and then the uh ghost ghost meets girl. That was the other idea that I had. Uh that I thought about running. And then obviously the rest of the side decks are the same. The uh the only thing different is obviously I have the sheer newies in here, but then other than that, everything else is the same. But this is what I settled on was this one because the Eldritch stuff was a lot better. So yep, there is that. Let me see yours, so I can critique uh, it. 
Get, get ready for the last uh, screen share there. All right, let me uh, full screen real quick. Yes, I am six and two now. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's see what you did here. I mean, it's not too bad. You want me, so, so basically you want me to give you some tips on what you could do? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, go, go over your thought process first. Uh, I mean, basically what I did is I just looked up a bunch of like, uh, different like deck lists and like strategy guides to how to play this. Cause honestly, I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know how to play this deck before. So I had to look up, look it up. So I just went through a bunch of stuff and like a bunch of the cards that they recommended. Mm -hmm. And I kind of, kind of made a thing. I don't know how good it is. Well, I, I don't have the beats. Well, I do own the beats and stuff. But yeah, I wasn't sure about adding them, so I put most of the stuff in the side deck. Uh, did you think about running Gen X Undone? Uh, uh, yeah, I probably should have run this yet. Yeah. <laughs> because you know, running that a couple copies of it, your one Gen X controller. That's yeah. why you were uh, using water monsters mm -hmm. uh i actually ran nimble i got nimble beaver in mine like i'm actually looking at my uh deck right now uh, okay <laughs> that's why i'm just like uh christian rosenix is actually really decent to run aqua spirit is oh, good to run in it too. but uh nimble angler nimble beaver is good because you're able to send uh, if you send the nimble angler, you get two nimbles from your deck. Mm. So obviously, if you do beaver and such, then you can go those. Uh, nimble stunfisk is good to use. Oh yeah, this card. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, there's another nimble. I can't think of it off the top of my head. That's good. Manta. No. Uh, no. Never mind. Oh, it's level. <laughs> I read the effect. That no, was, it's not it's a level. There's another level. There's a level four that I'm thinking of. You can send a water. Let me look at my right quick. There you go. So, I mean, the Desert Lotus was all right to run it, I guess. But really, if you run a Mermel Lanterns, you don't really need the Frog Engine in it. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't need the Frog Engine. Oh. Right up. But well, I see you do have the two uh, Psydras there because yeah, it is the Atlantean Balls monster. But yeah, but, literally uh, both of my openings ha hand had one of these in it, <laughs> but I couldn't summon it. <laughs> All right, let let me show you this right quick. All right, let me stop screen sharing. If I still have that deck built on here. All right, so I me mean, because uh, I gotta see if I still have it on here or not. Uh, I don't have it on here still. That's frog. I trust him. Frog. Yeah. Do I not have them? My mer. I don't have my mermel on Indians. Hmm. I should, oh, actually, no, I have this. <laughs> I forgot about that. My super ancient deep sea. Oh, uh, yeah. Synchro Atlantean beatdown. <laughs> because I was looking for this silent angler. No, that's not what I'm looking oh, for. Oh, yeah, that card. Uh, That's not what I'm looking for. Is it this one? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, there's a level four fish that I'm looking for that you can send one to the graveyard to summon another copy of itself. Oh, um, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, stingray, Is white sting stingray. Oh, was that actually the one? Yeah. 
No, nah, that's not the one I was looking for. Oh, okay. I'll look for it here in a little bit, but... I mean, it's... Honestly, uh, depending on how... Because the way you want to do uh, mer mer Atlantean Marmels, it's... Other than the Poseidon, which... If you, I know I, I jokingly told you you have to run Poseidon. You didn't really have to run Poseidon. Oh, oh well, it didn't matter anyway. I was kidding. Uh, no, uh, it's it's really a beatdown deck type situation. Gotcha. So I mean, but you're able to go into synchros and such quickly. Uh, like I said, you have the Gen X Undyne, the Gen X Controller engine you can run. Aqua Spirit's good to run in it because. It gives you a free body for synchros and stuff. So you had the Toad engine. You got well, Bahamut Shark Toad. You can go into. Uh, I mean, really, you don't need a one for one in it. <laughs> I mean, you could actually throw in a couple more of the deep sea stuff because they have the discard effects. Yeah. And everything. Egg. This deck even has Baylor in it. <laughs> Like, there's no spells and traps in it. It's just strictly blind, go second, and hope for the best. <laughs> so, I mean... But anyways, we've rambled enough. Uh, so, I guess... Uh, we are now... I am, went back to the winners, and I am now positive once again, 6 and 5. So, I guess we shall tell them about next week's episode, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Sam, you're just like... Yeah, th this was just a blowout for me. I just want to get this. I just want to get this episode done. <laughs> uh, next week's episode is going to be a fun episode, I think. Uh, we are doing an acronym double deck challenge. Now, uh, at first, you know, I want to do like an acronym type situation and everything, but uh, when you say acronym, it's something like hat or Pac Man, something like that. So. Basically, the deck has to be something that's an acronym for what the deck is. So, since we are doing a double deck, this is a special episode, be meaning that it's going to be a $200 budget instead of a $100 budget. Which, speaking of that, uh, we'll need we'll go into here in a minute the budgets, uh, the rollover budget stuff, and everything as well. I am saying it's going to be a advanced format, but the deck must be at least. A combination of two or more archetypes or to make me an acronym so basically if you're running hats uh what that is mostly being is it's uh the hands as a, you know fire ice hands artifacts trap tricks and fun fact uh i know i know i was telling sam about this i have actually personally met that guy who made that deck a thing and won with it in regionals years back. Uh, like he was actually from Georgia here, and I go to I went uh go to the card shop a lot. That's down in Roswell. That it's that he's from. So or yeah, I don't want to discuss that. Anyways, so that is what is next week's. Now here comes the boring stuff. As it's going to become, because we've got to talk about the budget now. So, Sam, do you want to explain <laughs> your uh, wild imagination that you come up with for sure. the punishment for this so, episode? So, uh, for, for this week, I thought we'd uh, do something a little unique. So, the the winner of this episode, aka uh, Sinjin, uh, takes the last digit of their non-rounded budget for this week, and Oof. then they add the first number of their budget to that number. And then you multiply the two numbers together, add those two numbers, and then you get your total for your rollover. Long story short, basically, because I spent uh, $63.78, uh, we I'm multiplying the 6 and the 8 together. That's uh, 48, and then add together is 14, 40, 14, 48, 62. Uh, plus, since I actually did go under budget, uh, I am gaining an additional six, so I am gaining six, or additional, yeah, additional six dollars, so my budget 
with $68 for this week is going up to a grand total of Ooh, that's a good one. $261. Now, Sam, care to explain about what about yours now? Uh, I lose $30. <laughs> that's it. No, no, no. Well, I also, the, uh, so I, I uh, dipped into my roll, uh, budget for this week, so I lose an additional, what was it, 13 14 mm -hmm. So Sam was like, I kind of, he, he was like, I kind of needed to go into my rollover budget, the actual rollover for this week. So because of that, Sam, uh, how much did you go over? You said $83? Uh, hmm? yeah. So it's, yeah, so it's you're 80, losing 43. Yep. Pudge. Right, hold on. Let me reopen this up because my mind went blank. Oh, wait, you had 245, correct? Uh, oh, let me just do don't save. I'm just gonna do don't save. Cause I uh I goofed. Yeah, yeah, it's two forty five. Okay, I goofed. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm at uh two oh two now. Okay. I'm opening it back up. I goofed. I hit don't save. So yeah. So yeah, you're at two oh two now. And I gotta put mine back up to the uh one ninety three plus sixty eight again. Yep, the 261. 261, I said. So that puts my uh, budget ahead of yours now, sir. By how much? Um, uh, $59. Oh, okay, that's not that much. So let me save this. So, yeah. Uh, anything else you would like to say, sir? Uh, no. It's been sort of a chill episode, you know, today, because I had to be kind of quiet. But uh, we do greatly appreciate y'all coming out, hanging out, and watching and everything. Uh, like I said, come back next week. It's Double Decks again. You know, we, we, we love Double Decks. Don't yeah, we do. Uh, but uh, until next time, peace out. Happy gaming. Sinjin and Levis out.